welcome friends before to start with the timing of marriage first of all i would like to thanks all my friends viewers for their likes and encouraging comments on the applied principles of marriage or no marriage the present video is in the continuation to the previous one as there is no wiseness to look straight away for the timing without knowing the marriage is on the cards or not so first we will confirm that the marriage is promised or not and only after that we move forward to find out the timing of marriage so while examining the time factor in the example charts simultaneously we will also check the marriage yoga exist or not it would help the viewers to make a sort of revision of the previous video on the marriage or no marriage here i would also like to mention that this principle on the timing of marriage is not the only one there are so many principles in the practice which the learned astrologers are successfully using so test this method on some charts and if you find it to your satisfaction level you can include this one into your personal astro kit friends if you remember in the marriage or no marriage concept we took two pointers first vivah tara and its lord vivah tara lord and the second seventh house and its lord l7 similarly for timing of marriage we will take two pointers first principle on the brigu chakra paddhati bcp rule and second the ashtotri dasha with the help of these two principles we will try to find out the points of mutual affirmation in the namasha charts also first the bcp known as bhrigu chakra paddhati thanks to dear sunil john for elaborating this technique in this principle one bhava or house is considered as one year of age 12 bhava houses are equal to 12 year of age to find the first house as a first year we need to determine the strength of lagna and the moon in the chart once strength is confirmed we can proceed counting the years from lagna or the moon as the case may be second tool is dasha here we are going to take ashtotri dasha curious to know why ashtotri this dasha may be a controversial and conditional it is a well known phalit dasha for events related to achievements and in my view marriage is also an achievement what you think about it 
this dasha has a special significance for venus which is supported by both the luminaries sun and moon to the karka of the seventh house in this dasha sun have six year dasha period plus moon 15 years and the sum of both comes to venus dasha of 21 years whereas in vimshotri signifies importance of jupiter sun 6 year plus moon 10 years equal to jupiter's dasha of 16 years we will take here ashtotri dasha as unconditional in examples first we will apply these principles on some charts and in the last we will take two more charts of the twin sisters thanks to all my friends for the contribution and the sending the confirmed data of charts for the research work my especially thanks to urmila ravenkar ji for the charts of the twin sisters who got married with the gap of 5 years these charts help me to reconfirm the time related principles on the navasha charts also i am sure these charts will help the viewers to know how to use in depth parameters to find out the accurate marriage time now to start with the examples first chart the male native moon in swati nakshatra and the vivah tarak comes to purva bhadrapad lord jupiter the btl vivah tara lord this jupiter is also tarakarka seventh lord sun and jupiter vtl both are having aspect on the second house which can be known as a cause of marriage so marriage yoga is confirmed then comes to the bcp rule for timing of marriage marriage happened in the 31st year this period falls in the 7th house from lagna which is also the natural house of marriage leo sign here lord sun which is the atam karka of the native having strong influence thus bcp rule on the houses is confirmed at the married time ashtotri dasha was md of jupiter with jupiter in antra look at the chart this jupiter is the vivah tara lord itself and as well as darakar kalso both strong influences significances this timing is met in rashi d1 chart now we'll see the bcb rule on the navasha chart marriage or no marriage will remain same as it is with the rashi chart 
come into BCP. As counted from Rashi chart, it is the seventh house. Now we will see how much this house is having influence regarding marriage in D9. Seventh Lord of the D9 Mars is associated with the Dara Karka and Vivahatara Lord Jupiter. which is further having aspect on the same second house of marriage yoga confirmation. The cause of marriage. So PCP also confirmed in D9. Then comes to Ashtotri Dasha influence. Same Jupiter in Jupiter, Madasha and Antadasha. It is a BTL, Vivatara Lord and as well as Dharakarka. In the next charts, we shall leave analyzing on the D9 chart just to save the time. So many charts in hand, leaving on the viewers to check themselves D9 analyzation process is defined in the first example. But in the last charts of twins, we will again look into the D9 charts as well. Example chart number two, a female native. Moon in Adra Nakshatra, lauded by Rahu. Vivatara becomes Vishakha and Vivatara Lord, VTL, Jupiter. VTL, Jupiter and Venus, Karka of marriage, both are in Vishakha, the Vivatara. Father, VTL, Jupiter and Lord of Seventh House, Saturn. Both have common aspect on the tenth house, which can be defined as cause of marriage. Mary Yoga confirmed. Coming to BCP. Marriage in the twenty-second year, which comes on the tenth house from Lagna. Venus and Jupiter, both in Vivatara Vishakha, having a spect on this house. So, BCP rule also confirmed. Ashtotri Dasha, Mars into Mars, Madasha and Antardasha. This Mars is Dharakarak. Positive for the marriage. So, Dasha rule also confirmed. Example chart number three. Female native. Moon in Uttrashala and Vivahatara comes to Roni, Lord Moon, the VTL, Vivahatara Lord. Jupiter is placed in Roni, in the Vivahatara. Moon VTL is placed in the seventh house and Jupiter is having a spect on the seventh house. Mary Yoga confirmed. BCP rule. Marriage happened in the 25th year. Here, Moon is stronger than Lagna. So, 
count will start from moon as the first year of the age. 25th year again comes on the moon, which is placed seventh to Lagna. This moon is also in sign exchange with the seventh lord and Atam Karka Saturn. BCP confirm. Coming to Dasha Ashtotri. At the time of marriage, the Dasha was going on, Mahadasha was going on, Rahu with Rahu Antra. This Rahu is placed in the sixth house with Karka of seventh house Venus. Further, it is having respect on the Viva Bhava, the tenth house, where Aruddha Lagna and Yuel both are placed. Coming to example chart number 4, female native, moon in Purvashada and Vivahatara comes to Kritika, the VTL sun and this is placed in the Lagna, having aspect on the seventh house and the Lord Mars. Marriage dictum confirm. Next to BCP. Marriage come out in the 34th year, which is the 10th house from Lagna. Lord of 10th house moon is placed in the third house along with Atam Karka Rahu and Dara Karak Venus. Third house is the Dharma Bhava to the seventh house. So BCP rule fully applied. Ashtotri Dasha was running Mahadasha of Rahu with Antardasha also of Rahu. Atam Karka Rahu is placed in the third house with Dara Karak Venus and having aspect on the seventh house of marriage. So, all the principles applied. Next example number 5. A male native having moon in Rohini and Vivatara comes to Chitra, Lord Mars, the Vivatara Lord. This Mars is also the Atamkarka. Mars and Seventh Lord Moon both are having aspect on the Eleventh House, Trinal House to the Seventh House of Marriage. Marriage Yoga confirm. Coming to BCP, marriage took place in the year of 31st year, which falls on the 7th house from Lagna, the natural house of marriage. 
Dharakar Akshatan is having expect on the seventh house. And this is placed in the Lagna. So seventh house is promising marriage. Ashtotri Dasha Mahadasha of Moon and Antardasha of Rahu. Here Moon is the seventh lord and Rahu is co-enjoined with Atamkarak and Vivahtara lord Mars. Here one thing more need to point out. The native was in the courtship which started from 1987 to 88 when Mahadasha of Moon, 7th Lord and Antardasha of Saturn, Dara Karak started. BCP rule and Ashtotri Dasha confirm the timing of marriage. Example chart number six. A female native with moon in Dhanishta. Vivatara becomes Atra, Lord Rahu, the Vitya. Saturn's seventh lord, which is also Atamkarak, and Rahu, Vivahtara lord, placed in the second house of family. Marriage principle applied. Viva Bhava, according to BCP rule, Marriage happened in the age of 27 year and the house comes to third, the ninth to the seventh. Sign here, Virgo, belongs to Dara Karak Mercury. BCP rule applied. Ashtotri Dasha was Rahu, which is Vivahatara Lord, and Antardasha was Jupiter, which is placed in the same nakshatra with VTL Rahu. Atamkarak Saturn also joining them. So all the principles successfully apply. Next example, number seven. A male native having moon in Mula nakshatra. Vivahatara becomes Bharni with Lord Venus, the BTL. Here Venus itself is a seventh lord. First point of matching. And the second is Mercury is in the Vivahatara, Bharni, coenjoined with the VTL Venus. Marriage Yoga is confirmed. Here one thing more to note. So many combinations indicating the same event confirms the strength of the yoga, which should be considered as an additional contribution. BCP, Vibhava, 
marriage finalized in the age of 28th year which falls in the 4th house from lagna atam karak jupiter and dara karak rahu both are respecting this 4th house of home comforts further they are also having aspect on the vivatara lord venus and mercury in the vivatara bcp rule fully applied coming to ashtotri dasha jupiter with mercury here jupiter is atam karaka and mercury in vivatara bharni both are promising the dasha period coming to example number 8 a male native moon in shravan nakshatra its own nakshatra Viva Tara is Mrikshira, Lord Mars, known as VTL. Jupiter, Lord of Seventh House, and Atam Karka itself is placed in the Viva Tara Mrikshira. Venus, Karka of Seventh. is also conjoined with jupiter marriage yoga is confirm bcp rule viva bhava married to place in the 26th year which falls on the second house of family here mars the vivah tara lord is having aspect according to bcp second house is confirmed coming to dasha rahu with moon jupiter which is atam karaka as well as lord of seventh is having aspect on rahu and moon so all the rules fully applied next example chart number 9 if female jatika having moon in maga nakshatra and vivah tara purvashana lorded by venus as vtl atam karaka mercury and saturn both are enjoying vivah tara purvashana mars seventh lord and atam karak saturn both are having aspect on the ninth house which can be known as cause of marriage bhava marriage yoga confirm bcp viva viva bhava marriage happened in the 27th year which comes on the third house from lagna the dharma bhava of seventh house mercury atam karaka sun dara karak and saturn as a lord of fifth house all are placed in the third house 
नोट हेयर इट वॉज ए केस ऑफ लव मैरिज बीसीपी रूल अप्लाइड अष्टोत्तरी दशा मर्क्री इंटू जुपिटर बोथ आर इन द साइन एक्सचेंज इन द एक्सिस ऑफ थर्ड एंड नाइन्थ हाउस फॉर द नोट हेयर थर्ड हाउस एंड द प्लैनेट्स इन दिस हाउस आर प्लेइंग ए मेजर रोल इन द मैरिज All the dictums applied. Next example number ten. Female native. Moon in Hasta nakshatra. Moon's own nakshatra. Vivatara Dhanista. And Lord Mars. as btl this mars is placed in the lagna having full aspect on the seventh house marriage confirm bcp marriage happened in the 26 year which is the second house here jupiter is placed in dara karak rahu nakshatra ashtotri dasha saturn with jupiter antra saturn is having aspect of dara karak rahu and jupiter is placed in the rahu nakshatra one thing is very significant in this case which i want to share with the viewers in the whole scenario rahu is playing a vital role everywhere what does it mean it shows a strong soul desire of the coming spouse to make this marriage happen rahu is dara karak example number 11 मेल नेटिव मून इन कृतिका विवाह तारा हस्त एंड वी टी एल मून फर्स्ट कंफर्मेशन मून इज आतंकार का एज वेल एज विवाह तारा लॉर्ड प्लेस्ड इन द एट्थ हाउस एंड हैविंग एस्पेक्ट ऑन द सेवंथ लॉर्ड which is also dara karak jupiter second confirmation mars and venus both are placed in vivata and in lagna both are having aspect on the seventh house so मैरे योगा कन्फर्म कमिंग टू बी सी बी मैरिज टुक प्लेस इन द ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर विच फॉल्स इन द सिक्स हाउस दारा कारक जुपिटर इज हैविंग एस्पेक्ट ऑन द सिक्स हाउस नोट हेयर the 6th house is the 11th house of gain from the atam karka moon which is placed in the 8th house coming to ashtotri moon 
with Marsantra. Moon is Atamkara here and Mars is placed in the Vivah Tara. Straight and comfortably matching of principles indicate the smooth and hurdle free marriage. Whereas while applying the principle, many planets are involving a Joshi need to think how to match it. Understand the marriage would happen but with some lot of problems. Not a smooth marriage. Next example number 12. A male native, moon in Kritika, Vivatara becomes Hast with Lord Moon. Matching point number one, Moon, Vivatara Lord is also Dharakarak and placed in the sixth house with seventh Lord Mercury. Which is also Atam Karka. Point number two Rahu in Hast Vivatara. Having aspect on Atam Karka, Dara Karak, Seventh Lord, and Vivatara Lord. What a matching! BCP rule, marriage in the 32nd year, which comes in the 8th house. Sign of Dara Karak Moon. Jupiter Lagna Lord and 4th Lord having aspect on this house. It's exalted sign. Ashtotri Dasha Moon Mahadasha with Jupiter Antra. Moon is Dharakarak and Jupiter is expecting its exalted sign. Example chart number 13. A female native having moon in Uttra Falguni. Sun Nakshatra. Vivatara comes to Shravan and Vivatara Lord Moon. Here Jupiter is placed in the Vivatara. Seventh house itself confirming the marriage yoga. BCP rule marriage happened in the twenty third year, which comes on the eleventh house, a trinal house to the seventh house having aspect of Jupiter which is placed in the Vivahtara. Ashtotri Dasha Mahadasha Mercury with Antardasha of Venus. Mercury is Dharakarak and Venus is placed in the eleventh house with the aspect of Jupiter. All principles applied confirming the result. Example 
एग्जाम्पल फोर्टीन चार्ट ऑफ ए मेल नेटिव मूल नक्षत्र उत्तराषाढ़ा एंड विवाह तारा रोनी लॉडेड बाय मून द वीटियर यूपिटर इज इन रोनी विवाह तारा विच इज हैविंग ए स्पेक्ट ऑन द सेवंथ हाउस एंड इट्स लॉर्ड एंड मून वीटियर मेरे योगा कन्फर्म नेक्स्ट द बीसीपी मैरिज इन द ट्वेंटी थर्ड ईयर विद नाइनटीन डेज अब we take here these days as a grace period so 23rd year falls in the 11th house a trinal bhava to the seventh moon vivatara is placed here with the aspect of jupiter bcp rule applied coming to ashtotri jupiter mahadasha with saturn antardasha both these planets are aspecting seventh house and its lord mercury all principles successfully applied <clears throat> now we are coming on the charts of twins born with the time difference of 15 minutes planetary positions in the rashi charts remains the same in both the charts so yoga for marriage or no marriage remains the same applicable on d1 first chart which is example number 15 female native मून इन हस्ता ओन नक्षत्र ऑफ मून विवाह तारा कम्स टू धनिष्ठा एंड वीटीएल मार्स मार्स इट सेल्फ इज प्लेस इन द लग्ना एंड हैविंग रेस्पेक्ट ऑन द सेवंथ पावर सो मैरिज योगा कन्फर्म BCP marriage took place in the 20th year which falls in the 8th house here dara karak rahu and vtl mars are having aspect on the 8th house besides this ketu in vivah tara is also placed in this house so bcp house confirmed coming to ashtotri mercury with antra of venus dara karak rahu and atam karak venus both are posted in the mercury nakshatra dara karak rahu having a aspect of venus atam karak this is the status in the d1 chart coming to the navasha chart d9 
विवाह योग रिमेन्स द सेम एज इन द डी वन नाउ विवाह बाबा एनालाइजिंग विद द बी सी पी मैथड ऑन डी नाइन सेवंथ लॉर्ड मर्करी इज प्लेस्ड इन द एट्थ हाउस and dara karak rahu is also having a aspect on this house okay astotri application with d9 chart mercury with venus of third antra point number 1 ए के एंड डी के बोथ आर इन द मर्करी नक्षत्र डी के राहु इज कोइन विद आत्म कार का वीनस एंड हैविंग एस्पेक्ट ऑन द एट हाउस सो दीज टू पॉइंट्स कंफर्म द मैरिज एंड द टाइमिंग बोथ coming to the next example chart of the twin number 16 second female of twins in this chart also marriage yoga confirmed as analyzed in the previous chart bcp to find out the vivaha bhava this marriage happened in the 25th year and the house of marriage becomes the lagna here mars the vivaha tara lord itself is placed no one house from the eighth house marriage of the first child in the previous chart and up to the lagna is promising the marriage in between that 5 years now coming to the astotri dasha the period was saturn with saturn antra madasha and antar dasha both of saturn saturn is lagna lord and placed in the second house of memory with dara karak rahu which is also the co lord of the lagna coming to the namasha chart d9 marriage rule remains the same as d1 we have to check the application of bsp rule on the t9 chart now focus house was lagna lagna lord saturn is having aspect of dk rahu and saturn itself is also having aspect on its lagna ashtotri dasha Mahadasha Saturn with Saturn Antar Dasha. Here again Saturn. Importance of Saturn being Lagna Lord and having aspect of Dara Karak Rahu becomes prominent. i hope my friends have enjoyed the discussion practice these principles on some of the charts and add it into your wallet of tested dictums not to forget sharing your experience in case you have any questions 
you can also write to me on my Facebook page. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Take care. Bye.